Hey guys and welcome to this new Mando Media video. Today I'm going to show you how to build uh, the new Nameless Ghouls from the new tour. They have new masks and they're made from leather uh, from the artist Bob Bassett. You can buy similar masks from him. He will not sell the original masks, he has stated so on social media, so we will not be able to buy the original masks from him. There are many ways to make a mask like this. Some people have already uploaded 3D models to 3D print it. Well, I want it to be flexible, like the real deal, like leather. But since leather is quite expensive, I'm trying to do my best and make it out of EVA foam. And with some tricks, we can make it look pretty good, I think. So let's get started on this project. For the main helmet, I used a template from Evil Ted. It's a basic helmet template. Beware when you print it, as you can see here. Um, my printer printed it a bit smaller than actual scale. But it fits me perfectly. I already did this with my Sawborg Destructor helmet and it fits very very well to my, well, big head. Before you cut out your templates, learn from my mistakes and don't cut out the eye part, the triangle in front of the helmet, because we actually need to fill that later and I just cut out a filler piece and had to glue it in later on, so don't do that. Then I heat formed all the cutout pieces with my heat gun. You can see how that is done in the Evil Ted tutorial, I forgot to film it sadly. But now you can watch me glue together all the stuff we need for the basic helmet. I used contact cement for that holds really strong together but make sure you wear a respirator because that shit smells. As you can see it fits perfectly so it's up to you if you want um, a snug fit you can print it a bit downscaled like me or if you want a loose fit just print it at full scale. And you can see here, I am filling in the triangle. It's an avoidable mistake. So from here on, I'm just using um, hand-drawn templates I did myself. And I will cut them out from a very thin crafting foam. And just like the real pieces, I will sew around the edge, which turns out to work out pretty well with foam too. I will try to put all my templates and um, stuff I used for the helmet in a folder for you to download. It will be in the video description so you can keep up uh, with me while I'm doing it here with my hand-drawn stuff. To find out where to glue on the front piece, I just watched myself in the mirror and looked what looked best, marked it and then glued it on again with contact cement. Once again you can learn from my mistakes. I noticed that the flap uh, is way too long in the front and I had to cut that afterwards and re the edge again, which of course is kind of crappy, but yeah, you can do it on the first try. Learn from my mistakes. For the eyes I designed and 3D printed these rings. If you don't have a resin printer, you can find a big bottle cap like this. It also has the ridges 
on the side. The detailing is very good and you just you can cut out a hole and use that if you can find something the correct size. But before we continue on the helmet, I am filling all the seams with quick seal and will sand them off later on. The next pieces I glued on would be uh, the piece where the lace will go in the back of the helmet and the piece where the hose will go through. Make sure your hose fits through the loop before you glue it on. Now you just have to search around your house for round objects that you can use as a template for the ear parts. To cut out round shapes I like to use um, small nail scissors because they are already rounded. That makes it much easier to cut round. <laughs> then I'm cutting out small holes for the eyelets. You can then press the eyelets into the holes or if you want to be secure you can glue them in. Now we need a tool to heat form the ear caps and coincidentally this ghost mug has an inlet which will work perfectly fine for that. I am heating up the piece from both sides with my heat gun and then I am pressing it on the outer edge of the mug. And you can also press it on the inner edge, just make sure you get the correct angle and roundness of the piece. For the inner rings in the ear cap, I cut some small strips from the thick foam and sanded the edge around and then glued them together. I also cut out some rectangles, heat formed them and glued them together for the tubes that will be the eyes that poke out of the mask. Next up I'm cutting holes for the hoses to go in and I'm gluing them in with Uhu Hot Melt. That's a really really strong hot glue, I can only recommend it. I also used hot glue to uh, glue the eye pieces in, make sure they're at the right angle when you glue them in. And then I noticed that I can cover up my small mistake with the triangle in the front, because all the ghoul helmets, they have uh, some detail pieces, which I just don't, they are all different. And I chose the one with the detail next to the eye to cover up my small crime right here. Now that we're done with all the parts, we can prime it with Plasti Dip. I'm using Gummi Dip, which is a cheaper German alternative. Then I drilled holes in the mask and glued in the rivets with super glue. You can buy black rivets. I used sim uh, silver ones because they looked silver in the early photos, probably because of the metallic reflection but they are black, so yeah, just use black ones. And as you can see, even after the gummy dip slash plasti dip coat, the uh, seam looks pretty good. It didn't cover that up. 
this right here is the bit I used for all the holes in the mask. Now I'm drilling in the back of the mask where the lace eyelets will go. This time I won't glue in the rivets but use them for real because I want the eyelets to hold really well while I'm, when I'm putting the lace in. And again, these metal parts should be black, not silver. I almost forgot to mention how I made the horns, and they are made from a moldable plastic. Uh, you can put the small granulate in hot water, and when it's all clear, you can take it out and form anything with it. And once it cools off, it will stay like that. Then I painted it with bronze acrylic and gave it a good black wash to make it a bit darker. Another thing I did before finishing this mask was glue in um, a small rod, metal rod, to bend the mouth to my liking because the uh, tubes pulled the mouth apart. And that's it, the mask is finished. So that's it for now, thank you for joining and watching my video, hope you liked it, hope you build your own helmet. If you do, please tag me, Malicious Masks or Mando Media in uh, the post and I'll check it out and share your work. And stay tuned, see you soon, stay healthy, goodbye.